Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Outpost Review. I'm your host, Richard Knox. Uh, this is a brand channel under our main channel, which is Smoky Mountain Outpost. If you like building, um, if you like do-it-yourself, if you like woodwork, if you like being self-reliant, then go check out our main channel, Smoky Mountain Outpost. If you're new here, I think that you'll find a lot of the different projects that we're doing up here, um, not only entertaining, but unique. Um, I'm actually standing in the outdoor kitchen right now that we built. We have a whole series on that. We've got a series on the compost toilet that I built, uh, kind of hobbit or hillbilly style, however you want to picture it. I'm currently working on my timber frame cabin. I've got a chicken house that I'm going to build. I've got a base camp that I'm going to build. I've got a barn that I'm going to build. Uh, a lot of different things in the works in the future. So on this channel we kind of go behind the scenes from the main channel of Smoky Mountain Outpost and we talk to you about uh, tools and equipment that we use, uh, processes that we're doing, basically why, what, and how. Um, this is an undeveloped area so I don't have any restrictions, I don't have any inspections that I have to go by other than power and sewer, which of neither I have. So what I'm doing up here is primarily what I want to do. Of course, I do want to do things that are safe and things that make sense. So uh, a couple of the projects that I'm going to have upcoming, which would be solar uh, energy um, and a rain catchment system. I am also going to have to have some way to get rid of the gray water. So I will be installing something, you know, in order to do that in a leach field. Um, but anyway, what I decided to do today, my son and I, we talked about covering a lot of the audio and visual equipment that we have. Now, we don't have as much as others, but we have invested quite a bit of money, which you can, uh, in a short period of time, to try to bring you the best audio and the best um, video possible. You know, when we first started this channel, I was still in school, and I had determined that I was going to... Uh, build one more cabin in my lifetime and my son he'll talk about this later But I don't know anything and I still don't know anything about video and audio production. I just uh, do what I can and You know you watch that every week um, But I am learning and my son is learning as well uh, He is a lot more technical than I am and he actually came up with all of this stuff right here for me to use and I barely know the basics. I, I, can, I know just enough to get around to film what I'm doing up here, um, download it to the computer, um, edit it, and upload it to YouTube. That's about the extent of my knowledge. And he'll talk about all these different things and the, the technical side of it and, and stuff like that here shortly. But um, I just wanted to tell you all that uh, when we first started this channel, I was watching those uh, other people and I was actually up here clearing a road uh, to build this cabin and I called my son it just dawned on me one day I called my son I said hey you know I've been watching these people on YouTube and um, you know they're videoing what they're doing and building their homestead and stuff like that and I said you know what if I invested some money uh, would you help me to make a YouTube channel and he said well of course dad I've always wanted a YouTube channel so basically that's how we started. I told him that I was going to spend, now trust me, you don't have to do this. Um, my son, there's a clip in the very first video that I ever put out of him standing over here where this tiny home is, uh, whittling on a seven by seven beam. He's actually digging out a mortise. And I actually shot that with my iPhone. So don't think that you have to spend this kind of money to have a YouTube channel. You can get a cheap tripod like this one. This is the one that I mount the GoPro on. And you can get a holder for your iPhone right here. And the phones today take a really good video. Um, I would probably go with some sort of an external mic like I've got on these cameras right here. But you can shoot footage with this and he'll talk about that. But anyway, I told him that what I was going to do, I was going to make an investment into um, the future of our channel. Had no idea where it would go, um, had no idea, you know, when um, we would have any success or any luck out of it. Um, but I just knew that, you know, I was willing to make an investment in the future 
uh, because I wanted to video this process up here. I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to build it anyway. So why don't we video it and share it? You know, people may, uh, first of all, be entertained by it. There may be some tips or some tricks that now, this is not a how-to channel and neither is our main channel, but there's many tutorials on YouTube. If you want to learn how to do a lot of the things that I'm doing up here, that's my suggestion. But there may be some tips or some tricks, I told him, that you know people may learn over the years that I've picked up that I can share with people. And the fact that you know we live in a really great um, part of the country, and just to share that with people. So I invested $3,000. Um, the first thing that we got was, uh, this is actually the Canon 80 D like David. Uh, of course, I've got the dead cat on, the, the one that I film with, I'm using right now that I'm filming with, okay? This is the one that I broke recently, I still have to send it off. The um, flip out screen actually broke. Um, but this is the very first camera right here that I purchased. Let me bring it up here and show it to you. That's where I broke the screen right there. So that's basically how we started. And then I told my son after a while, I said, you know, it takes up a lot of time to move that camera around so much. Uh, we need to look into purchasing another camera. But like I say, it was quite expensive to do that. So he said, well, Dad, I'll tell you what. He said, you need a GoPro, something that you can take. Um, when you're doing action shots uh, where you're not actually scared of carrying the camera um, in the event that you might damage it um, and the new ones that they have out today are, are really good quality so uh, my son purchased this uh, at the time it was the latest and greatest uh, this is the GoPro 7 that's the screen on the back and this, this is, there's a case that it's in right here. So what that allowed me to do was to be able to set two cameras up where I could get two different angles. I may have one shooting in this direction on the subject, and then I would have this one over here shooting the opposite direction on the subject, hopefully where they don't see each other, but providing two different angles because that's one thing that I have learned doing video that uh, in order to make it dynamic where you're constantly changing angles it makes it a lot more pleasing to watch so instead of just having one static view by changing angles like I say that makes it dynamic the only issue that I had was editing and didn't he do a really nice job on that logo right there that's the uh, backdrop on my computer which this he also uh, got actually when I was in school my computer crashed and I needed uh, something in order to finish the last three months of eight years and we found this uh, on eBay and we won the bid on it and he got me this nice MacBook and this is really nice and handy to use uh, with my editing anyway so uh, the only issue that I had was in the editing with the GoPro the platform that the Canon camera works on and the one that the GoPro works on, the color is different. And of course, I didn't have an external mic, which probably still wouldn't have quite lined up. Uh, it would need some adjustment. So when I would download the footage from the GoPro on the computer and then download it from the camera, I had to always adjust the color and I had to always increase the audio 246 percent to be able to match closely the Rode mic um, on the Canon camera. So every little piece of video, every little clip, which may be anywhere from five seconds to 15 or 20 seconds that you generally watch, I try to change angles a lot when I'm editing. Um, I had to change each one of those to make a 
15, 20, 30 minute video or, or whatever. So that was quite the task. And um, so then later on, as the channel started doing a little bit better, I told him, I says, you know, why don't we invest in another camera, which the one that we got next was the Canon 90D, which is an upgrade from the 80. The original 80, as far as I know, um, was the vlogger's camera. There was a lot of people on YouTube that was the go-to camera for them. So that's why we purchased it to start with. We also wanted to do some aerial footage. And uh, so then we decided that we would purchase the, uh, a drone. And he told me that, you know, the drone that a lot of people use was the DJI Mavic uh, Pro. So that was uh, another major purchase that we made. It's a very nice drone. Um, I'll show it to you here. And these fold up and they make easy storage. Of course, you have to turn the propellers in. But uh, And then this is a gimbal right here that... Um, the camera is suspended on and you can actually rotate it up and down when you're flying. As the channel progressed and I started building a greater library of videos, um, it became very apparent that I can only build about five movies on this because the capability of this older model is uh, 500 gigabytes. And I'll give you an example. This is one terabyte. This is an external hard drive. This is the one that I carry around with me uh, just everywhere that I go in case I need to, um, you know, dump footage on this or something like that uh, and I'm not at home. When I'm out here filming and then I go home, uh, the first thing that I do is I take the SD cards out of the camera and I download the footage on this 10 terabyte hard drive right here. Okay. So all of my clips from shooting are stored on this right here. I think that I have one terabyte left out of all the shots that we've been doing so far. And we haven't been on YouTube that long. I will shoot, oh, in the neighborhood of 60 gigabytes every day that I'm out here. So I've got all of that downloaded on this 10 terabyte hard drive. When I edit a video and it's complete out of that 60 gigabytes I have anywhere from a three and a half to possibly a five and a half gigabyte video that I load up to YouTube which is what you watch so once I get that video edited I download it on this six terabyte hard drive right here and this has all of the videos that we have um, uploaded to YouTube so far this right here is a four terabyte hard drive um, and this is actually what I started out using to dump all of that information on then it got overwhelming then I went to the six then that filled up then I went to the ten and now I'm gonna to have to purchase another one but what I have done is I have designed these where like I said all clips go down on this all videos go down on this and this is where I store all of the pictures like for the thumbnails and and things like that that we upload uh, to YouTube, that we put on Facebook, that we put on Instagram, and things like that. And of course I'll load them up to Dropbox and send them to him and he takes them off there. But um, all of the pictures are stored on this right here. So a lot of these other accessories that I've got laying out here, and I don't have all of them, believe me. I have a um, kit that I bought for the GoPro, which has a head mount, a chest mount, a wrist mount. Um, a thing that you can hook to it where you can take it underwater uh, where it will float and it won't sink. Uh, there's all types of uh, gadgets like this thing right here uh, came out of that package to where I can actually take and mount the GoPro up there. So when I come out here to film, if I'm using the GoPro that's stationary um, and I want to film, I'll slide that in there like that, put this little pin in the side of it and 
then I'm able to, you know, shoot, lean it up and down, or do whatever, and it stays stationary, just like the big tripod. This mount is a little bit different right here. This will slide in. And without locking it down, it will stay right there, which is a nice safety feature. See, it won't slide off and it won't slide backwards unless I unlock it with this pin right here. But I'll generally get it set where it's supposed to go. And then there's another knob over here that I can lock it and it will stay there. Now, this is basically, um, it's got some like hydraulic in there and this will pan very smoothly and up and down so I really like these uh, tripods now these aren't the most expensive but these are close to two hundred dollars a piece and I've got two of these I've got one on the camera back there that's actually filming this um, these stands are made by care and I really like the stand I think that you can spend whoops five hundred dollars on them six seven hundred dollars if I remember correctly um, I couldn't afford that but I did want something that was uh, nice, that was um, telescopic. You know, I can raise this way up and I can even uh, adjust it to where I've got two legs out and it will go a third and it will go way up. Or it can go, you know, down quite a bit um, as well. But uh, yeah, these stands right here, they're very nice. They're st solid, sturdy and the legs you know i'm not afraid of them tipping over now how i broke that camera my foot actually caught it and i tipped it over and as i went by it i turned around and it was already more than halfway down and i couldn't catch it but that's how i actually mount the cameras when i'm out here shooting lighting um now there is a company that reached out to us and we're going to take a look at getting uh some lighting that we may do a review on and recommend that to you but uh, this was sent to me uh, this is a tiger light and I took it on the hunting trip and it actually did a really good job providing light at nighttime around the campfire uh, so what I want to do is I want to get another one of these because two of these I think you know primarily wouldn't overwhelm because when you're shooting at night you want it to look like night but yet you have to have some sort of light to be able to um, see anything you know if it's really really dark uh, so but yeah I'm thinking about getting a hold of um, the guy that sent this to me and see about purchasing another one of these because I think two of those would be great and see that it sticks it's got a magnet on the bottom of it so that's really nice to have I got a couple of the lenses now this one right here this is a macro lens, so the you can see the difference in the size right here. But this goes out to 250, where this is only 135. So if I was shooting wildlife, wanting a picture or something like that, I would need a better zoom. And you can get more um, pricey with these two. The good ones, I think, are around thousand, fifteen hundred dollars to to really get good wildlife video. But that's not generally what our uh, channel is about it's more about the building where I don't have to you know shoot from afar but uh, I do have this one and I can get a lot closer than I can with that if I need to and then a lot of these other things these are just filters UV filters and things that I can put on uh, the camera along with something to protect the lens you know to provide it some shade in case you've got sun and so forth uh, along with the UV lenses um, but that's pretty much the gist of um, the equipment that I use. Um, you know, if you wanted to know, I think that we've probably got, I'd say by the time I count the hard drives and the MacBook, um, I've probably got between six and seven thousand dollars worth of equipment and you count the stands in there as well and all the accessories that we have. Um, which is quite pricey, you know, to do a YouTube channel. But um, I really didn't mind spending that money uh, so that I could bring you the best audio and the best visual that I could afford. And uh, although, you know, my, co my content may lack a little bit, but um, 
at least the equipment is not lacking, you know. With, within my budget, that was the best that I could do to bring you the quality that I have. Now, I have the capability to shoot 4K, um, but I don't. I shoot in 1080 uh, because in order to shoot 4K, you just got pretty much four times the information. So I would be downloading four times the information. I would be processing all of that and then trying to upload all of that, which is going to take a whole lot longer. And I think that the 1080, which is primarily what people do on YouTube, um, is good quality. I don't think that um, you know it's lacking any at all. I know that the 4K is a lot clearer, but I don't think that, like I say, the 1080 is bad at all. When I get home and I actually download this information, it takes me, uh, by the time I download it and I send the 60 gigs, now remember, I'm downloading from all avenues of audio and visual. Um, by the time I download that, I send my son the pictures, uh, depending on how many pictures I took and how long it takes to upload those to Dropbox and send them. Um, and then begin editing a video and then going through all the clips like I said anywhere from five seconds to probably 20 before I'm switching angles uh, putting all that together um, adding all the little text and the beginnings and the endings and um, then going back and starting over and then sitting and watching it and kind of previewing it you know there may be a blooper <laughs> that gets by me every now and then but um, I try to you know um, watch the video to make sure that you know I didn't have any outstanding mistakes in there before I put it up because uh, I want to bring you the best quality that I can um, it takes me probably four hours okay to do that so when I leave here I go straight home I download that stuff and I edit the video and then I upload it um, and then I come out the next day and I do the same thing now our main channel, we're putting out three videos a week, um, and this new channel, the review channel here, um, you know, we're putting out two a week, which this review channel is not that difficult because I can basically talk about what I just did, but it's more in depth, and, and it gives me a chance to answer questions too that um, people have uh, that are general. So, you know, another thing that I wanted to mention, too, is, you know, when we first started out the channel, uh, all of the different comments and everything, you know, um, we get hundreds of those, uh, especially when you're doing this many videos per week. Uh, my daughter, I tried to keep up with them and found it to be a very daunting task to come out here and um, video and go home and edit and then try to answer as many comments as I could then she started helping me the channel kept growing and now it takes her I think she tells me uh, one to two hours now this is per video uh, to answer comments so um, you know so we don't want anyone to feel bad if we have skipped a comment which I'm sure that we have trying to go back and answer comments as a video comes out because when the video goes on air at 5 a.m., um, by the time that I get up, which is generally around 6.30, uh, there's already multiple comments in there, you know. And as the day progresses, they just keep coming in. So she does her best to try to help me answer those. I do read over them when I sit down up here and take a break or if I'm at home in the evening and I'm done editing or something like that. But she helps me out a great deal uh, on trying to get back to each one of you personally. Um, but we also realize that as the channel continues to grow that even that may become impossible because um, you know if a lot of the people that I watch have a million plus subscribers so if you put out one video a week you know if you had people working full-time there's a possibility that you could answer all the comments that you're going to get um, but we don't because my daughter has a job, my son has a job, I'm now retired but I'm building every day and I'm editing every day so um, I just wanted to say that you know don't feel bad if we miss one of the comments or we don't do it on purpose we're trying to answer all of those but another reason for starting this review channel I told the kids that it would be an opportunity for me to answer questions 
in general. But, you know, keep the comments coming because if I don't have the comments, then I don't have, you know, any response to questions that you may have. So I'm going to try to address in general um, the popular questions that are coming through the channel. You know, it's, uh, it's great to have the people that we do and we have some of the best people following this channel and we like to read the comments that's another reason that we like to do the live streams so that we can answer comments um, and you know if you haven't been a part of one of those you know we look forward to you we have a great time there it just seems like the people want to just keep going they keep flooding us with questions and um, you know it's hard to stop one of those but uh, we try to do those towards the end of the month and so far we've been doing one a month because the people like it so um, there will be one coming up the end of this month that I'll be uh, mentioning in the video upcoming. But uh, like I said, if you haven't been a part of that, go check it out. It may be something that you like. Uh, also, this channel right here, as well as our main channel, we do monthly giveaways because that is our way of showing you gratitude for your support um, in uh, this channel right here and the things that we're doing up here at the Outpost. I hope that uh, this little review here uh, on some questions that I've had over time about what kind of equipment are you using. I hope that this helps some and by all means you don't have to do what I did in order to uh, create a channel. You can start with your iPhone, uh, a small tripod, an external um, mic, um, any kind of a laptop and now what I use since this is a MacBook I use iMovie. It's free it's very simple. It's something that I can use. Um, it is uh, user friendly. My son mentioned some others, but they're just too technical. Um, I don't have time to sit and try to learn something new, especially with all that I'm doing here to bring you guys uh, these videos. So as long as I can, I will continue to use iMovie and put these videos out. But like I said, you know, that's really all you need. Um, you don't have to do what we did, but if you were interested, I thought, you know, I would go over some of this. My son's going to talk more about it in detail. So I hope this helped you all some. So let's swing on down there to Patrick and see what he's got to say about all of this uh, equipment and um, his thoughts behind it. Hey everyone, Patrick here. Like my dad said, uh, I'm going to try to elaborate on some of the stuff that we use to produce the videos that you see. Um, I say try because you did a great job at explaining everything that I would say. Uh, we got the cameras, the drone, the accessories, the, 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 the computer, the storage devices. But what does all this stuff mean? Like why that? You, know? uh, you can just get away with just the iPhone nowadays. You can edit and you can film and it has great video and great audio and post it to wherever you're gonna post it. And you can set multiple iPhones up. I've done that before too, to get different angles. So you don't really need all of this stuff. And really a lot of the stuff that we have was uh, based off of many factors. You know, it is, is what's the cost and quality? Uh, is it reliable? And what is everybody else using? And so, um, but what does all this mean? Uh, the, our goal is to tell the best story possible. And uh, we appreciate those who have been on the journey since we started. Uh, hopefully it's significantly better than it was when we started, but the goal is to tell the story, to put you exactly where we are and kind of have it like you're with us. Um, some of you have come out and hung out with us and we appreciate that, but for those of you who don't have the means or you're not able to come out, uh, we hope that you feel like uh, this is an enjoyable show, like you're there with us and we're going to continue to add to it and get better at it. And we just want to say thank you. A lot of this wouldn't be possible without you. Um, we, we appreciate your support and your love, and uh, to give you support and love back, we continue to put more into the content, into the production. That's one of, one of the reasons why we created this other channel, uh, was to be able to give you a little bit more in-depth, behind the scenes, more talking than we would normally put on our main channel. Which, by the way, if you haven't already, uh, please go check out our main channel if, you, if you've never heard of it, if this is your first time. Uh, we have our main channel, which is Smoky Mountain Outpost. The link is in the description below. Uh, we do a lot more working on there where you can see the uh, various things that my dad's built and our family and friends have built. And um, uh, 
you know, it's a, l a little bit less talking over there, sometimes almost none. Um, but we hope you enjoy both. Uh, we, we appreciate everything. Uh, if you've taken part in going to our store, we appreciate that. That's not necessary. We've just, we started it based off of the fact that, you know, uh, we wanted something that had our own logo on it. And someone was like, hey, you know, I'll buy one of your shirts. And we we're like, okay. So then I ended up making a store. It's not necessary. Um, but because of you, um, so many things have happened and we can't thank you enough. Uh, we also hope that you're taking part in our giveaways that we have. Uh, we have giveaways on both of our channels now, so which they are real. Ask anybody who's won something. Uh, you can just go to the video and just follow us and uh, maybe win something. Um, so you get two shots. Uh, but hopefully you enjoy the content. Uh, we thank you for sticking around. We thank you. For, we hope that you're enjoying five days a week. It's a it's a tough it's a tall order for my dad to do all the editing, all the filming, and all the working. Um, but uh, he's a great man. He does a great job. Uh, we thank you for your support of him. We thank you for the support of of my family and my friends. And um, we hope that you get the same in return. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next time at the Outpost. Thank you.